What's up, everybody? Y'all know the business. Today, I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite Apex toys. I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on the Neptune PAR monitoring kit. So the first thing we need to talk about is the differences between a PAR monitor and a PAR meter. A PAR meter is a device that you use in order to take measurements of light in your reef tank. With a PAR meter, you basically have a wand and at the end of that wand is your sensor. And the sensor detects how much light is hitting that particular area at that particular time. Now with a PAR monitor, the sensor is actually in the tank 24-7. It does a continuous reading and it measures the light at that specific location throughout your entire lighting schedule. Once again, you don't take a PAR monitor out. It's made of a different type of material where typically PAR meters are made of some type of metal which you can stick in and then take out. With a PAR monitor, it stays in the tank the entire time and it's made of materials that are not going to break down within your reef tank. So out of the box, the Neptune PAR monitoring kit comes with the Neptune PAR sensor. This is similar to the Apogee sensor, but the outer shell is set up so you can leave it in salt water for a long time. Comes with the advanced sensor module. This plugs the PAR sensor into your Apex system. It also allows third party sensors with a little DIY work. It adds another temperature pro port to your system as well as six switch ports comes with the real reef rock. You use this to hide the PAR sensor in your reef tank. And it also has a six inch aqua bus cable. So what kind of things can you do with the PAR monitoring kit? First off, you could of course tell your PAR. You can see the current PAR infusion. You can see the PAR over a period of time, either hours, one day, or all of the data. And when I say all of the data, you only get a short range. You can move the little slide bar around to, to get different date ranges. But once again, you can see uh, all your PAR over that period of time. You can see the minimum, average, and maximum over that selected period as well. In the graphs, you could also take a look at your PAR monitoring data against your light configuration data. So I have radions and T5s on my system. My radions are hooked up with the WXM. My T5s are hooked up to the variable speed ports because they're dimmable. I can take a look at my radion light schedule, add my T5 light schedule, and take a chart of my current PAR and lay them all on top of each other. So I can see what my light configuration looks like with the current PAR values that are showing in the graphing system. I also have the ability to see algae growth in my reef by using the information from the PAR sensor. So I can clean the PAR sensor, put it back into the reef, and from the graph see how long it takes for the PAR to start decreasing to a recognizable level. How fast or how slow that PAR decreases is how fast or how slow the algae is starting to grow on the sensor. If I clean the sensor, I'll also see how much PAR is being lost from a dirty sensor. Now, just like with algae, I could also tell using my PAR sensor when I need to take out and resupply my carbon. Now, over time, of course, you're gonna see the PAR decrease. If the PAR is not decreasing because of algae growing on the sensor, it's most likely you need to change your carbon. As time goes on, more and more chemicals from the fish, from the corals, will turn the, the water kind of a, a yellowy color. This yellow color is going to decrease the PAR that your sensor is going to detect. If you see over a period of time this is happening and there's no algae growing on the sensor, you probably could figure that you need to change the carbon. Now another thing you can do with this PAR sensor is detect when your lights are on outside of its normal lighting schedule. Let's say you had some friends over, you're showing off your tank, and you forget your lights on all night long. Of course, that's gonna be catastrophic for your reef. A lot of times you will burn a lot of your corals. With the Apex PAR meter, what you're allowed to do is write programming for your light schedule. 
like in this example here, if my light is on outside of my light schedule, it's going to send me an email alert. Now, of course, things like this can save your reef, and it's definitely better to have it than to not have it. Last but not least, another thing that you can do with the Apex Power Meter is to tell how your lights are performing. Now, I haven't got a chance to do this yet, but I guess that over time, if I see my power decrease, and it's not because of algae, it's not because of carbon, then most likely it's because my T5s are getting to the point where I need to replace the bulbs. So if I see a decrease in par after having my lights on for let's say eight months to a year, I can assume that par decrease is because it's time to change the bulbs. Now I haven't got to this point yet because I haven't ran T5s for a year, but once again, that is an assumption that I believe I can safely make with my Apex PAR monitoring kit. Now overall, I think the PAR monitoring kit is a very good module to have with your Apex system. Once again, like a lot of the other modules, it just gives you additional information that you can use that can better your reef tank. Now of course, it's not the end all be all. As far as being accurate, you know, PAR meters a lot of times are not as accurate as they probably should be. You're not going to use the PAR meter to give you a solid number. It's more or less to give you trends and give you a ballpark figure of how much light that you really have into your system. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have an uh, Apex PMK or if you just use another type of PAR meter. Knowing your PAR is definitely a good thing for your reef, especially if you're getting to, into more of the more light intensive corals. Well, as usual, YouTube, happy reefing. Take care, everybody.